Okay. Now, this is going to be one of those types of videos where it's going to be a little bit different. As I would like to branch out a little bit occasionally from time to time, but who, who cares to say whatever something happened? Anyway, today I'm going to give you a little bit more so like a bite sized content tutorial thing. And that is how to draw cartoon characters starting by the basics of how head uh, how to draw heads so let's say I'll give you one quick example of a classic archetype of cartoon anatomy When I say marketeer, you give this a nose. Hmm. And a pointy, pointy nose. And some pointy nose. And some eyes here. And to drive home the fact, like say, this here. This is a rabbit, but more likely something straight out of the Looney Tunes. So, yeah, you add in a little bit of hair and not to mention, you give him a little bit of fluff. And have ears. And that's totally the full basics of what. And finally, some brows and you get the the quintessential classic rabbit thing you draw now let's try apply it to a different type of animal let's say a little bit of a sly thing Let's say, draw some oval, some beans, a little bit, have some irises, and some pointy nose. Add some jaw to it, and a little bit of that swoosh. And that's essentially like this is a fox, a very mischievous and evil fox, you know. Now, when it comes like something like these, what do these things come in common with the, the typical way of how cartoons are drawn? Say, something like this or that. And that is because, like, of one of the crucial things when it comes to drawing. Like, when you've started out dipping your toes into the realms of art, you first have to draw the fucking circle. Remember the meme of 
draw this and then like add an oval to it next thing you know draw the rest of the fucking owl say I'm gonna do this a little bit quick easy and quite efficient To understand how quick I could draw, even if it's not perfect, add a little bit of an add some. And what happens next is when, well, you know, it may not be perfect, but hey, that's easily how, essentially, this thing came. So, yeah. In order to draw something like these things you got to remember the fundamentals of how basically everything came to be and it all thanks to the circle like say like now for this little exercise I would like to follow something that I had basically for the first, like, basically for the first few months of drawing it, drawing on daily stuff for the second time or so, I study through Preston Blair's How to Draw Cartoons stuff. And this is essentially like in one of the first pages is how you can draw some appealing designs and one of the fundamentals without repeating it to death too much is the head. So for the like first route or the a little bit of a tricky route such is basically to draw the damn squirrel. If I could find it in the reference. References and stories. If I can bring it up here and capture it, it'll be fine. It'll be take a little bit of a while, but it will be fine. Sorry, it was a little bit cringe. But here, this, this is how you start with this. It's more so like the basis of what character design. If you want to get started, you have to know the basis of basic shapes. And what all you have to do is basically start with this. So, if I could screen capture here and paste it, ah, damn it, paste it. We bring it over here. Ah, over here, you stupid. There you go. One of the. Let's try looking at the reference, even if it's small. And without describing it, I'll draw it in the more slow and comprehensive manner. Okay? We go for the oval, just like again. It doesn't have to be very perfect.
now. I, I do caution, like, it may not be easy, but once you get a little bit of a hang of it, and be more confident, you can go advance into other territories. If I were to educate you to the more complicated stuff, let me know what you think down in the comments or something like that. But yeah, it's not working. <laughs> Be uh, give them those good old eyes. And some buck tea. A chin. And don't forget the brow. And it's essentially, like, even if it's not 100% accurate, that's basically, like, one of the things you see in that book. Now, how about, like, the next time I'm going to draw, like, provide you a quick tutorial is I will show you how to break things down by the method. Like, when it comes to beginner artists, I would recommend you one thing. And that is using tracing as a means to analyze, to break it down, and basically... Do a little bit of challenge where you basically trace it, trace the certain reference a couple of times, and then by the time you get the hang of it, try drawing it from memory and such. It basically would be one of those things that would be appropriate for a future video to show I would, to demonstrate what I mean. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope this little bite-sized content thing works. And if you like it, well, oh, hey, ho. I'm always welcome to respond your little questions and such, even if I speak a little bit awkward. So, yeah. That's basically the basis of how to draw some of the appealing cartoon heads. So, or basically, like, along with some little bit of demonstrations of how quick I draw and such. So, yeah. It, it's nothing too special. But you will get the hang of it eventually. But, and sooner or later, you'll, once you get a little bit comfortable, I'll show you a lot of things that you may or may not miss it in any sort of means. So, that's it for me. I'm gonna get going and go to sleep because it's midnight. All right. Till then, I'm gonna see you next time. Whenever I post a shit post or another of those bite-sized drawing sessions. <laughs>